It's very important to have a solid default sorting, as most visitors never even change their sorting method. We know from experience that there are a few essential factors in creating a good sorting option. Popularity – products that have been popular this week, month, or year. This information comes from Google Analytics. Availability – products that are well-stocked and have a short delivery time. Actuality – new products, products that have appeared in a newsletter, or products from a certain trend. And push – products that you want to sell for reasons such as margin, stock value, or market value. Incorporating a mixture of these four principles into your sorting options will yield very positive results. Read the support article linked in the description to read more about these principles. You can use the Sorting Options submodule to set up your sorting options from scratch, and there are four ways to do it. Let's first open up the submodule. Click New Sorting Option to get started. You're presented with four options. Individual Field lets you create a sorting option based on one property. You can choose a property to use and decide whether it should be in ascending or descending order. Many web shops use this for the alphabetical sorting options. Click it to set one up. You can name it and select the property it should be based on. Also, choose if the order should be ascending or descending. The checkbox at the bottom lets you set whether visual merchandising has priority over the sorting option. Click Save to save it. Once you've used the sorting option, you can view the order of products within the sorting option on the Previews tab. This is the same for all sorting options. The next option is Formula Order. This option lets you set a sorting formula based on properties. You could, for example, first sort by stock, yes or no, and then by page views. Of course, this can be any formula containing any properties. The values need to be numeric, though. Click it to set it up. First, you'll need to name it and save it. Now you can start adding properties that you want to include in this option. You can set the data type under Interpretation. The aggregation column lets you set the sensitivity of the sorting of numerical properties. If you choose hundreds, it doesn't matter if a product has 102 or 160 as a value, but the difference between 100 and 200 matters a lot. The products will be sorted from lowest to highest value or reversed, depending on the setting you choose. The sorting follows the order of parameters that you set here. If stock is your first parameter and you set it to 0 slash 1, all products that have stock will be shown first followed by products without stock. If item quantity with the aggregation hundreds is your second parameter, the products that were already on top because they have stock are sorted by item quantity. If your third parameter is name, products will be sorted A through Z or in reverse within every aggregation of the previous parameter. The more parameters you add, the more intricate the branches will get and the more dynamic your product list will be. Formula Weighing this option allows you to have a weighed formula of properties resulting in an order. Name it and click Save. Now select your properties and set the percentage you want them to weigh. You can use any number of parameters in this formula. We've used two parameters in this example for the sake of simplicity. The formula calculates the value of a product compared to the maximum and minimum value for the property. It then multiplies this value by the number you set in the settings. The formula results in an extensive combination of sorted ranking values, so your lister page will be very dynamic. Note that the properties in this sorting option need to be numerical. Save it to continue. Now let's set up a sorting template with these sorting options. A sorting template is a collection of sorting options that you can assign to categories and landing pages. Click New Sorting Template to get started. It's very simple, really. Just name the template, click the sorting options that you want to use, and save the template. After you've linked the template, you can view the categories it's linked to on the Link To tab. That's all for sorting options and templates.